Alright man, so today we'll be talking about stickers. So stickers are a vital part of any building basket trio, so make sure you keep that in mind. First, we'll be talking about how to get stickers. On the home screen, click the button that says 10 draws, then click sticker supply. From here, you can purchase your stickers. Next, we'll be talking about the sticker currencies. There are two types, the normal sticker packs and the premium sticker packs. To obtain these currencies, you have to draw cards from card supply. After using a certain amount of packs, you'll complete weekly quests that give these currencies. This is the only way I know of personally outside of the shop. Uh, first, we'll be talking about normal sticker packs. There is only one option in sticker supply for this currency, and that's the common sticker packs. Moving on to the premium sticker packs, there is a plethora of options to choose from. Premium sticker packs are what you'll be using to get your hands on player stickers. So these player stickers are character-specific stickers that enhance or alter their capabilities. For example, the shadow sticker allows him to use quick jumper after receiving a straight pass, while the gory sticker adds extra disturbance to layups and dunks when using chase down block. If you own an all-star, you definitely need their stickers. So it's important to note you can buy common sticker packs with premium sticker packs as well. Also important to note the icons on each sticker pack represents the different stickers you will be receiving from their respective packs. So simply just click the icons to see a preview of the sticker and what it does. In order to equip these stickers, first you need to click train, then click cards, then click stickers. If you're newer, you'll notice the sticker slots are locked and there's a message on them saying unlock basic card one star for the first slot and higher numbers for the other slots. This means you need to upgrade your cards to equip stickers. You upgrade cards by getting copies of those cards and leveling them up. If you'd like a cards breakdown next, drop it in the comments and I'll get that done for y'all now let's talk about sticker types the first we'll talk about is the most common which i refer to as color stickers i call them that because the different rarities of this sticker type is named after colors so this sticker type has four rarities from lowest to highest the rarities are green blue purple and orange this sticker type will help you boost your stats and gain other benefits as well each sticker will have a level attached to it these levels will add up depending on how many stickers you add with the same stat for example if we equip a level three stamina sticker in one slot then another level three stamina sticker in another slot i will have a level six stamina the level caps at 10 and the higher the level the better the benefits let's talk about the difference in levels depending on rarity green rarity stickers will grant you one level toward the stat on the sticker once you get blue rarity stickers you'll notice there's a small difference between green rarity and blue through orange rarity blue rarity stickers will grant you two levels toward the stat on the sticker but this can be split between two stats so the sticker could give two levels of a single stat or one level of two stats for example i could get a blue sticker giving two steel or i could get a blue sticker granting one steel and one layup dunk Moving on to purple stickers, purple stickers will grant three levels toward a single stat or two levels of one stat and one level of another stat. Last rarity of this sticker type and the one you should be hoping for the absolute most is orange stickers. These stickers grant a whopping six levels toward a single stat or one to five of one stat and the remainder goes toward the second stat. Last sticker type we'll be talking about is skill stickers. These are stickers that will enhance your stats, but come with consequences as well. Let's take hyperdrive for example. It increases your drive speed, but it also increases the stamina cost of your drives. This is one of the hardest types of stickers to get, and trust me, they definitely help. You can also level up these sticker types by disassembling other skill stickers for EXP that you can use toward leveling them. If you want to see what stats and benefits you'll receive from each stat on stickers, simply click guide while on the sticker equip menu and it'll pull up a list for you. So all right, man, that's just about cover everything. Just make sure you keep in mind, stickers are very important for your trio builds. Equip the ones that give you the stats you need. You'll definitely win more games. That's it. Now catch you on the next one.